Hey, welcome everybody. I'm John Zadar and this is On Top and Hot and it is Monday, April 17th. We bit different, huh? This is how we normally end our videos. We don't normally start them here. But if you've been following me, you know that I'm doing things differently. I told you last Friday that I'm going to try making shorter videos unless I want to do speed talking, which I already talk fast. <laughs> I got to cut down the information in each video. So what we're going to do is one stock per video and see how this works. And because I'm trying to keep these short and not repetitious, I am not going to be putting the news into this one. Maybe I'll shove it in somewhere. You know the news, that's scrolling news. All right, let's not waste any more time because I'm trying to keep these short. Let me show you the first stock, the only stock I got for you in this video. Jumping right on into the first one, not wasting anybody's time. This is ticker VBLT, Vascular Biogenics. And that ticker just keeps jumping around. So she's getting some aftermarket activity here. She had some news come out back at the beginning of February. She got into a merger deal. And they tell us it is supposed to close at any time. And her chart is looking sweet. Now, it's been riding on the 200 day for a while. There was the occasional punch through that looked strong, but it came right back down just as quick as it went up. But these last few days, she has been climbing, she's growing, and the volume is starting to accumulate. So VBLT, she finished the day today at just about 21 and a half cents and just over 8% gains. And this is a penny stock on the NASDAQ. So what is vascular biogenics about? Well, they tell us in one of their news presses that VBL is developing targeted therapies for immune inflammatory diseases, including multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and inflammatory bowel disease. VBL Therapeutics has entered into a definitive merger agreement with Notable Labs, which merger is expected to close in the second quarter of 2023. So what was the relative volume around the company today? We had a nice jump, sure did. We got about 400% increase, actually more than that, jumping from just a little over 1 million shares a day to just under 5 million shares. Lots of attention being paid to this. Share structure for the company. Outstanding shares, we have just under 70 million. We've got no information here, can't get it from the financial. Diving on over to Google, I find 53 million and 54 million. And I don't think I have any other numbers here. So we're going to presume our float is just about 55 million, somewhere in that vicinity. Financials. At the end of 2022, we have $658,000. Remembering to put those three zeros behind any of the numbers on these charts. And because this is the end of 2022, we don't have any more information. We're waiting for the next quarter to come out. But we can jump into the balance sheet, get an idea there. Total assets for the company is just about $30 million. You got to add three zeros to any of these numbers as well. Total liabilities, about one fourth, $7.2 million. And of that $30 million that they have in assets, 18 million of it is in the bank. Disclosures for VBLT. We've got a few of them here that just came out on the 14th. Uh, these two have to do with a shareholders meeting and about their financials. And then you've got this 8K here, which is a notification from NASDAQ. Their price has been under a dollar for too long. What's too long? Well, I used to think it was six months, but here they say 30 days. 30 days, they were under a dollar, so that's it. They've been given a warning. What's the warning? They've got six months to get that price up over a dollar for 10 consecutive days. And the cutoff date is August 28th, 2023. So they do have that to deal with. Let's jump on over to that news. Our news only goes back to February. We've got two pieces here and we got two up at the top. This news is not about this company. This is just other news that's been shoved in there. We got two pieces back here in February when they entered into an agreement to sell their manufacturing facility for $7.1 million and they closed that deal in March. Then they entered into that merger agreement with Notable Labs. We are going to take a look at this piece of news. And then they've got the other piece of news up here, which came out on the 14th, just a few days ago. This is with regard to their 10K, their annual report. There's a lot of information in there. They cover the highlights of everything that happened in 2022 and talk about some of the plans they have for 2023 and their financials, which are okay. 
nothing to brag about, nothing to complain about. They're streamlining right now. You see, they got rid of the factory. They're getting rid of other things. They're changing things now, getting ready for this merger. So let's jump into this news press here. This came out on the 23rd of February. VBL Therapeutics and Notable Labs announced definitive merger agreement. The merger will create a NASDAQ-listed clinical stage therapeutic platform company developing new precision medicines for patient populations that are selected through Notable's proprietary Predictive Precision Medicines Platform. Thank God for the abbreviation, PPMP. Notable's validated PPMP combines multidimensional biological assays and machine learning to biosimulate a patient's cancer treatment and predict their clinical response to the actual treatment. You don't have to go through the radiation and the chemo to see if it's going to work. They can actually simulate this now through a machine using AI and see if it will work for you. Amazing, isn't it? They go on to tell us down here that the company is expected to operate under the name Notable Labs and they plan on changing the ticker to NTBL. This merger is supposed to help them advance their lead clinical program with Volisterib while in parallel accelerating their pursuit of additional targeted and licensing opportunities. So they got things just waiting to happen once this merger is completed. And one of those things is $10.3 million being given to them by other investors. Once the merger is complete, they're going to get $10.3 million. So they've got a lot sitting on the table right now. And this merger is expected to close in the second quarter of 2023. Now, we don't know when that's going to be. We are in the second quarter right now. It could be another two months. It could be tomorrow. We don't know. But the charts are set up for a breakout right now. That's why we're looking at it. Let's go take a look at that chart. We are looking at VBLT. But then what other ticker would we be looking at? We're going to be doing our charting on Thinkorswim, the free trading platform you get from TD Ameritrade. So this is a six-month, four-hour view for VBLT. She's been real flat here. We had a high of about 27.5 cents back in August. She hit a low of about 10 cents at the end of December. But looking at that 200-day SMA, you know something big was going on. So let's jump back one year and see what's happened. Oh, something huge happened here. So she had a high of $2.20. This was back in July. It was on July 19th. She fell hard, almost a thousand percent. She fell from $2.20 down to 23 cents. And why did she fall? She had news come out about a phase three trial that did not meet expectations and everybody was upset about it. And she's been down here all this time because there's no way in the world she was going to jump to get to that 200 day SMA. Wasn't happening. So she's been patiently waiting all this time until it's gotten close to her. And she is stretching for it on the one year chart but come down to that six month four hour chart she's already over it she is now i'm going to zoom in because it's hard to see right now she had a big bounce right here this was a huge bounce she went from about 13 cents up to 26 cents 100 percent came back down to her 200 has been meandering around it bounced and she is climbing right now now it doesn't look like a whole lot of volume here but let me zoom in one more time for you there you go not as bad as it originally looks, right? The volume is climbing and growing and getting bigger. These last two days have been the strongest volume days. She is floating on her nine day SMA. She's had a pullback, but she's still above that nine day. All of our oscillators look fantastic. Our PPO and our MACD, these are very similar to each other. You read them the same way. They're both climbing. Our RSI is all the way up at 69.5. Everything looks good on the four hour chart. Let's take a look at that 20 day, one hour chart. Not looking bad at all. She's gotten on top of the 200, took one bounce and launched herself. All of our SMAs are nicely spread evenly. We've got a high here of 22, virtually 23 cents before she fell back, bouncing onto that 20. Look how many times she has bounced off of that 20. This is what you want to pay attention to on the one hour chart. It may not look this good on the five minute chart. That's why you want to come back to a one hour or four hour chart. See if she's staying actually on top of the lighter SMAs. Our oscillators here, well, they've cooled off. 
We had a big drop here at the back half of the day, but look at her bounce back up after market hours. And everything is kind of calm right now. She's kind of even keeled between the drop and the bump back up. Five day, five minute. Ooh, she is riding up on that 200. Bouncing off that 200, came under it just a wee bit here and came back up and she's sitting on top of her 50-day SMA. She looks like she wants to continue to climb, folks. Now, the only thing I don't like is how hard our 200-day SMA here is turned like that. It's going to be tough to arch it back up. Our technicals down here. We just had a crossover on our PPO. It is pushing up hard right now. What's our MACD looking like? Same thing. And our RSI is actually pulling back right now. No, she's going sideways. She's going sideways. So the chart is set up. There's no doubt about that. She's teetering right now, but she is set up. We've got this merger between Notable Labs and Vascular Biogenics. They've got this new device that can predict if chemotherapy and radiation is going to work on certain cancers. This could be hot, and they're going to get lots of money coming in once the merger is completed, and that's to happen second quarter. We're here now. When is it going to happen? I don't know. The second quarter, that's all I know. So put VBLT on your watch list and watch for the volume. It is coming in. It keeps coming in. You may want to get in yourself. So as I said, we're going to go with one stock per video and see how this works for you. See how this works for me. You never know until you try, right? That's how we learn. The more we know, <laughs> the more we grow. See ya.